friends welcome to today's video today we're going to be going through my relaxing fall autumn time morning routine and I'm doing this as specifically like my weekend morning routine today is Sunday morning it's like 9 45 right now and usually on the weekends I just take it so slow and enjoy the free time of it all and don't put any type of pressure on myself I just like wake up when I wake up usually around 9 and then I just let myself chill in bed if I want to get on my phone even if it's not the healthiest I'll let myself get on my phone because it's the weekend so I just wanted to take you through like a much more chill relaxing and calming morning routine compared to like my 6 a.m. weekday ones this one is just as important to me because I feel like it also helps me recover from the week it just lets me do exactly what I want to do and I'm not on any certain type of schedule which is so much fun Sunday morning specifically in the fall time like my favorite thing like it's so crisp and fresh outside the weather has finally started to feel like fall and I'm just so happy about it like I can go outside without sweating so first I got up and made myself a little cup of ginger and chamomile tea it's still very hot so I'm letting it cool off and I also have my Stanley full of water, of course. And I just saw this as I was cleaning my vitamin D, so I'm gonna take this. Okay, now I think what I'm gonna do is actually do the dishes and clean up like the kitchen area a little bit because it's kind of messy. I will reset later in the day, but right now I'm just trying to like get the main parts clean, I guess. away i went to madewell yesterday but i wanted to show you what i got i have been obsessed with this hoodie that i have found in their men's section i have the brown one i bought it last week and i literally will not take it off like it's my new emotional support hoodie and this is what it looks like it's literally just like a baggy plain hoodie i was seeing a lot of people talk about like some that look like this from abercrombie i went to go like look at those and i didn't like them because the inside just felt like like that material that pills really easily when it starts to get washed. Do you know what I'm talking about? And it, they were like not cheap. They were like 80 something dollars, I think. I just felt like the quality was gonna decrease as I washed it, but I liked how it was like oversized and just like a solid color. And then I saw these at Madewell and these are in the men's section. The women's ones are a little bit like smaller, but I like these cause they're oversized. So I got this green one in a medium and look at the inside it's like a way different material it's almost like a towel-y material but it doesn't feel rough it's actually super soft these are 90 bucks but so worth it in my opinion because i know when i wash it the inside's not going to get all like rough and pilly so i just thought i would share that fall purchase with you guys because that has been what i've like lived in when i'm at home <laughs>
wake up my getting ready routine on sundays and just like i guess the weekend in general is super low maintenance um especially sundays though because i know i'm only going to church and then i'm just gonna be at home probably cleaning or organizing getting ready for the week and i'm already getting very hungry so i'm gonna make this quick so we can head out for my skin elf cc cream whenever i don't want to put on like foundation or anything there's like barely any left but this stuff it gives me so much coverage it's so lightweight and i've just been like gravitating towards it and i'll usually put on like some sort of youtube video while i do this just anything to make me feel good Guys, I've been obsessed with this e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. It's like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter, and it's amazing. The glow that it gives my skin is so beautiful. I love it. When it comes to like my fall makeup routine, I don't really change much. I feel like the only thing I've noticed that I have started like changing a bit is my blush. I have been trying to like do more berry tones and like just darker blushes because obviously that goes with like the season and also probably putting like even more blush on my nose because like of that cold girl remember that cold girl makeup look that like everyone was obsessed with last year well i'm pretty sure it's gonna it's gonna make a comeback so yeah i've just been putting even more blush on my nose <laughs> day so until i shower tonight i'm just gonna put my hair up i saw this super cute picture of a girl i think it was on pinterest but she had her hair in like a little side part low bun with a headband and i'm gonna try and recreate it i look like an egg but i feel like anytime i do a sleek bun it's really it's a toss-up like i don't know if i'm giving chic or chic egg. Pull up the picture on my phone. It looks like her side part is farther to the side. <sighs> my arms. Ballerina tip, okay? If you're trying to get your hair to like maybe be a little bit more towards your head, you see how mine's like kind of out? I want it to be pinned a little bit more towards my head. So it doesn't look like there's like a cone. Take one of these like open bobby pins, but you want to buy the hard ones. You don't want to buy the flimsy ones. And what you're going to do is you're going to push it towards your head, angle the bobby pin into your head, like straight into your head and then pin it into your hair. Does that make sense? Angling it into my head and then just like pinning it down into my hair. So it gives, it's a little bit more like stuck to my head. I hate when buns are like creating like a cone shape. I don't know if I should do like this headband. No. She's wearing like one of these in the picture. Side parts are always like, it feels like an experiment. I've always, always been a middle part girl. Just like a little bit of a chunkier earring. I know Lola, I will be giving you some chicken soon. I promise it's coming soon. Your chicken's coming soon. This little girl's staring me down. I'm gonna give you chicken soon. <laughs> okay, let's go feed you. Let me give you guys an outfit of the day. So simple. Also, sorry if you can tell that my mirror is super dusty. I have on this brown hoodie from Madewell. This is the one I was telling you guys about. Like, look how cozy. I love it because it's so lightweight. And you guys know I live in Texas, so no matter what, it's gonna get hot at some point during the day. And then I have on this gray 
like yoga pants from Lululemon. And then my Ugg slippers that I refuse to wear out of the house because I don't want to get them dirty, even though I think they're meant to be worn out. But anyways, that's the fit, guys. Okay, it's time to whip up some breakfast. I was... Ah! Oh my gosh, I almost dropped the raspberries. I was so pleasantly surprised when I looked at my pantry and realized I don't have to go to the grocery store. I thought I was gonna have to run with you guys to get ingredients for breakfast, but we have everything. I wanted to make some like fall waffles with berries because I'm craving waffles. Um, so this is like the pancake waffle mix that I always use. It's the Simple Mills almond flour one. They taste like regular pancakes. They're just made with almond flour. So they're a little bit lighter, which I like. And I just need eggs and water or milk, which I have both. I'm gonna start to cook this. It's actually like brunch. On the weekends, I'm always just eating brunch because I'm never eating in time for it to like actually be considered breakfast because I'm still usually asleep, but that's okay because a weekend brunch, like who doesn't love that? It is 11.30 right now and we're gonna make this food. Literally always playing in my house. Some of you guys might know this, but it is is some fall lo-fi. Like, those vibes are beautiful. This is a little waffle maker I use. I don't remember where I got it, but I'm pretty sure they sell them like at Target. Okay guys, it can't be a fall morning routine without our fall morning coffee. So I'm gonna make my at home PSL that I've been doing. And I think it tastes like Starbucks, which saves me the money. So right here I have my espresso over ice. So now what I'll do is basically just make like a latte. I'll pour some milk over the espresso and then I will get a little glass. So I've been using this Califia Farms Pumpkin Spice Almond Milk Creamer. Froth it up. I like to froth it because I feel like it makes it like more of like a cold foam that sits on top of the coffee and you can taste while you sip it, which is what I'm going for. I and then I'll just pour this creamer over top and see how it just like sits on top. You guys get it. That's my at home PSL. I guess I could add some cinnamon too. Oh my gosh, look how cute. And I just mix it together. And you got an at-home Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some PLL while I eat breakfast because I love watching comfort spooky shows during this season. If I could ever find that HBO Max app. Let's taste test. I poured some cinnamon over the waffles. Give it a little fall spice. Delish. So good. Guys, I love how 2009 this show is. <laughs> like, what is she wearing? While I sit here and watch PLL, I'm going to also journal because I like to do this in the mornings on weekends because I feel like during the week, I just squeeze it in whenever I can and it's usually at nighttime and I'm already like tired and I feel like I don't get to like really enjoy it. I do it because I should and I know that I should and it helps me, but there are days where like I love doing it on my own time and usually that is the weekend. Just doing a little bit of mindfulness right now. Also, I sometimes get questions asking what I do when I journal or if I have any journal prompts. I can't remember if I've talked about this, but I don't do anything special. Um, let me show you though, like how I title my journals. I guess I just put my date on this side and then I put the day of the week over here because when I'm reading it back, I feel like it's just fun to like know what day I wrote it on. And one day when it's like years from now, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I wrote this on like Sunday in October. Like 
so specific and random. As far as prompts, I don't do anything. I don't follow any prompts. I just like to reflect, like self-reflect when I journal. And that's like mainly what I notice I typically write about is like reflecting on either my day or how I'm feeling and kind of like working through that with myself while writing it down. One thing I do try and do in my journal though is self-affirmation that when I feel pressure or overwhelmed, like no matter what, I've got it. Like I've never not been able to do whatever task is at hand and I need to remember that. So it's all very simple. It's all very fun and laid back. I don't follow prompts. Maybe I will eventually like make some good prompts in my, like start incorporating prompts in my journals. I think it would be fun. I just haven't looked into like any. So whenever I'm rewatching like a comfort show, I love to give myself like a year since the last time I watched it at least. So I watched this last October. Now it's been like a year since I like finished it and it kind of lets my brain reset. So I don't remember like the details of the plot points. I obviously remember like the big stuff and the reveals. It, it just, it makes it feel like a whole new experience when I'm watching it for like the eighth time. Hey guys, time to get some fresh air, bringing Lola for a walk. Hey guys, I am going to end this video here. I'm just gonna sit down and read Aquawar. I'm still trying to get through this for the reading vlog. And also I'm just like, thoroughly enjoying it and loving this world. It's already one o'clock. I have church at two, so I'm gonna be leaving soon. And that's officially the end of my weekend morning. My weekend morning routines are so much more relaxed, calming, peaceful, soothing for my soul. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all are having a great fall and enjoying the season wherever you are. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you wanna keep up with the rest of the vlogs and go follow me on Instagram, that's where I keep up with you guys the rest of the time that I'm not filming. I love you all, my online besties, and I will see you very, very soon in my next video.